Hello, welcome to this LitGuard video. So, this question is 204 count prime. So, we are given a non negative integer n, for example, 10. And uh, we will output how many prime numbers less than or equal to 10. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. Let, let's do this. So first of all, if n less than equal zero, then in this case we know there no. This is just to avoid the negative value or zero one, the impossible case. So now we know that the n is more than two. So we can do things like this one uh, set it's not optimal we can do vect yeah let's do it primes four so we suggest let's say uh, we have this we need to check each one So how can we do? We will say is prime. It's true. Suppose this number is prime. So what means prime? It means it has no divisor other than one and itself. So let mm, it means that we cannot find any prime number such that if this number module p equals equals zero, then what we have is prime equals false, and we should do break. Yes, and this we need to do only for small enough, and we we know that uh, if and if i is uh, a times b so one of the a and b should be less than square root of i so if p star p is strictly bigger than i then we will do break because we know that there will be no more because the the lowest the first prime number which is a divisor of i must be less than or equal to the root square of i. And now we are done. And uh, the answer will be the size of this prime number vector. Let's check. Oh dear. Oh, of course, we forgot. <laughs> we don't use it. It's prime. If it's prime, then we should put it here. Yes, otherwise, the vector is always empty. Right. Okay. So let's check if it works. Ah, when it's two, we put one. Okay, it means here we should not put equal. We should put less than strictly. So n is not included. Indeed, that's why I got wrong. So Yeah, now it works. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. And if you want any other, please put a comment. Thank you, see you next time.